Let's talk about Noster. While it's not a blockchain-based project, it's been gaining popularity within the crypto and cypherpunk community as a decentralized alternative to private social media platforms like Twitter or Instagram. With prominent backers, supporters, and users like Jack Dorsey and Edward Snowden, it's no wonder Noster continues to gather steam with, at the time of shooting, close to a million profiles created. So what is Noster? Noster, short for Notes and Other Stuff Transmitted by Relays, is an open protocol designed for censorship-resistant, decentralized communication. Basically, it enables, among other things, a decentralized social network. Being an open protocol means that Noster is neither a company nor a platform, and no one is in charge of its development. Examples of widely adopted protocols include SMTP, which enables email, or HTTP, which enables you to access the websites you use every day, all across different providers and browsers. Noster was created by pseudonymous developer Fiat Jav, who is also a Bitcoin and Lightning Network contributor. He was later revealed to be a controversial figure, though that's a can of worms that we won't open in this video. Anywho, Fiat Jaff first began developing Noster in 2019 after being inspired by an idea called Diagon Alley, which lets virtual shop owners move between Amazon and the dark web. Fiat Jaff wanted to see how this concept could work with identities and published the Noster Manifesto in November 2019. His drive to build Noster was also fueled by his frustrations with mainstream social platforms like Twitter, which your data for ads and can censor content or block accounts. Fast forward two years to 2022, and Noster caught the attention of former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. Since then, on multiple occasions, he donated money directly or indirectly towards the development of Noster. The most recent being a 21 million donation to OpenSats, and 5 million of which is going to Noster. So, how does Noster work? Well, as its name suggests, it allows various forms of content to be transmitted through relays. There are three main parts to Noster that you need to understand. One of them being relays, the other two being clients and public key cryptography. Relays are essentially the back-end servers for Noster. They are the components that store and broadcast any data published with Noster. Anyone, including yourself, can run a relay, but you'll need some technical knowledge and be prepared to pay for bandwidth, storage, and comments. Compute. Clients, which could be any sort of app or platform, can be built on top of Noster by anyone, and users posting content on these apps will essentially be sending this data to Noster's relays, which then broadcast them to other Noster clients. Noster accounts are also based on public key cryptography, where all users own a public and private key. The public key is a unique individual ID, and the private key is what you use to sign your content when you upload it to Noster's relays. This makes it easy to verify that the person is the actual author of the post. It adds some level of accountability and tamper resistance since every message is signed before it is published. This is pretty neat as it brings to life the vision of being able to control your own data. With Noster, any content that you've posted is not owned by any particular client as the data is stored and transmitted by relays. Clients simply help read and display this data on top of adding their own unique features. This means if you dislike the client that you're using, you can leave and join another client seamlessly with just your private key. No other personal information like emails and phone numbers are needed. No cumbersome sign-up procedures or starting over with content. Users can choose to publish their data to multiple or even specific relays, so this bypasses censorship even if some of the relays are censoring certain information 
or get taken down. There are different figures out there, but according to Noster Watch, there are currently a total of 1,093 relays across 50 countries, of which 739 are active. These components together enable Noster to be censorship resistant. There is no central server admin that can ban you, though clients may offer features that allow users to block and mute certain content. At the protocol level, Noster does not collect and sell your data for advertisements or have any shadowy algorithm that messes with your feed curation in any way. Developing and improving a protocol is definitely not a one-man show. Noster in itself is a very lightweight protocol, and with Noster implementation possibilities, or NIPs, the Noster community can propose ideas and suggest improvements. NIP 57 is a cool example. It defines a new node type called Lightning Zaps, which enables the integration of Noster with the Lightning Network in order to enable Bitcoin micropayments. Zaps could be used to tip users, enable subscriptions and paid content, or to prevent spam. You can get started with Noster by visiting any client on your browser or downloading them on your phone and following the onboarding steps there. According to this site, there are currently 97 applications available on Noster. Some of the popular Twitter-like alternatives include Damus for iOS, Amethyst for Android, and Primal or Snort, which is available on both web and and mobile. There are other apps such as zap.stream for video streaming, highlighter for reading and sharing notes, Chester for playing chess, and more. However, as there are still a few things to learn about managing your private keys with separate apps and extensions that we'll need to cover in a separate video, you can check out Nasta for a simple guided onboarding process. As usual, remember to keep your private key securely since your Nasta account is lost if you lose it and if someone gets a hold of it they can impersonate you even though Noster has a lot of exciting potential at the moment there are still some significant challenges and concerns for starters there is the UX issue getting started can be a little confusing what with the seed phrase or private key storage non-human readable end pubs the need to select relays clients or separate apps and extensions for safer self-custodial key management and while the ability ability to curate your own feed is great, users could potentially end up in a self-made echo chamber if they start filtering out anything remotely new or different from their own views. There are also concerns about privacy and security, since relays are able to access your IP address and tie your public key to it. Relays also have your data in raw text, including your IP, approximate locations, and activities like posting, boosting, and quoting. It's also impossible to know how long relays will store your data, which presents both a problem for post availability in the long term and whether data is really deletable. While Noster is operating with mostly free relays, it might not be sustainable for relay operators for long-term scaling and mass adoption. There are some relays that already support a subscription model to provide better services and and this might become even more common in the future. Will people be open to paying for social media, which has so far been free? There are still challenges on the road ahead for Noster, but we're optimistic that even if it fails, other protocols will learn from its mistakes. And that's a wrap for this video. So do you think Noster is the future of how we interact with each other on the internet? Well, let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to stay updated on what's happening in crypto.